So here are a couple of quick ways I go ahead and try to find videos that are going to be responsive to kids' needs, whether I have to um, help reteach a concept in a proficiency-based system, or a student's got a passion project of interest and I'm trying to help him or her search. Documentary Addict, I like to come to, um, it's short, searchable over here on the left-hand side by topics. Another way that I go to find um, videos is I come to my Edpuzzle account. Edpuzzle lets me do a number of things with the videos I've found, but um, it re reminds me that there are lots of different ways to be able to search for, for videos here. Um, I hadn't come across Veritasium before, or number file, Crash Course is one of my favorites. So if I um, click on that, I can then search up here by topic as well, but then here are all the videos that are available to me like that. Uh, number file, there's Ted Ed, again, one of my favorites. These are all searchable outside of Edpuzzle, but once I find one that I want to go ahead and use in Edpuzzle, I can grab it, and then I have this opportunity to cut it. So if you see these little cut bars here, I can make the video much shorter and then go ahead and save that and share that. In addition, in Edpuzzle, I can add voiceovers or, or um, audio prompts or even uh, put in polls or questions, multiple choice questions. So um, you'll see links to some of those Edpuzzle uh, searchable sites on this blog post as well. Uh, when I do find some of those videos, like I was doing with Edpuzzle, I sometimes need to cut them because I need them to be a little, either a little bit shorter or there's only a section or a chunk that's going to be um, important for the work. So I use Dragon Tape. Uh, come in and make an account and I'm going to start mixing and Dragon Tape actually is like making uh, mixed videotapes. So say I'm doing something um, on astronomy. I'm going to put in a YouTube video that I know about or I could just go ahead and search there if I wanted. And there's this Crash Course Astronomy video. So I'm going to drag that and put that in here. Um, over here you notice if I double click on this scissor icon I can drag this little thing and go all the way to the point that in the video that I actually want to cut out right, and then apply that. So there I am with that chunk of it. But what's also nice with this mixtape idea is I can come in here and again, although I've got the video that I wanted um, and I've cut that down, I might want to be able to find something else here that I can add to it too. I can splice together two or three, four or five um, videos. And again, I'm just going to sort of drag that down and put that here and double click. Let's squeeze that one short, uh, what I want it to be, and put in third or fourth. I add a title for my tape here, and I save it. And once I've saved it, it gives me a distinct URL, a distinct web address. And that is a web address I can go ahead and share with my students through whatever learning management system I have or email. Again, it's just the link that they would go to, and they would have a cut version of or shortened version of the videos you found. Hope you find this helpful.